Hmm. The chromatin on those white cells looks, I don't know, spongy. I don't know if that's the right word, but it looks like it's got little tiny white holes in it. And then there's there are some tiny pink granules, I think, in that blue cytoplasm. I see some granules there. Um, and I feel like that's like got a fold, it does have a fold in yes. the middle. So I can't remember if this is, again, it makes me think of something like blasts, but I, my, my knowledge of blasts is very generic and I'm just like, Oh, anything that's weird in a white cell, then I think it could be a blast, but I don't. Admittedly. So I personally would call blue, that a blast. These are probably your pro monocytes. Pro monocytes. They're considered okay. to be blast equivalents. So they are. Oh, okay. But they're a blast, little bit more they're blast, Well, they're blast equivalents in what this is, which is myeloid leukemia with monocytic diplegia. Oh, what used to be acute myelomonocytic leukemia, well, or is it, it different? It, it can be either myelomonocytic or it can be acute monocytic. Okay. So if you have two different blast populations, one that is more myeloid and one that is monocytic, or I mean, that's generally how it happens. You mm -hmm. have myelomonocytic, and then you can have just pure monocytic. But either way, it's a... Uh, sub subcategory of acute myeloid, myeloid leukemia. leukemia. Right. So in Dermpath, th these are the ones that we tend to see showing up as leukemia cutis, right? Because the, uh, the particularly the ones that have the monocytic uh, differentiation, either myelomonocytic or monocytic, they for some reason home into the skin. It seems right. like, and they love to come to the dermis. And, and so you're a little bit biased on what you see because totally. even if <laughs> even if you have myelomonocytic leukemia, it's the monocytic component that, that usually, comes to the right. Uh -huh. And this makes sense sort of biologically because what do do. They, they travel, turn into histiocytes, right? Yeah, and they they get travel into in the peripheral blood for yeah. two days and then they get into places. So your monocytic ones are more likely also to be in your CSF. Oh, okay. So they're equipped so, to do the same things that normal monocytes and, and macrophages and histiocytes do. I mean, do, they don't function normally, but, but they seem to have that ability to get out of vessels and go into exactly. tissues, huh? Interesting. And, and this is really going to be your differential for your microgranular APL. Because remember, you were like, is uh -huh. this monocytic? Because, yeah, there's the granules there, and there's not really good vacuoles, are there? No, there can be. And so everybody's blasts look a little bit different. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't think I've really seen two blasts that look exactly the same. So something you can do is, like, pull previous pathology and compare blasts to blasts. And is this what you mean by, so the, the, the blue color here, that real deep blue, is that helpful or just, just pretty to look at? I'm like, I, I don't understand. That's usually your immature cells are that deep, deep blue. Okay. And the only real exception to that are plasma cells that also oh, get yes. blue again. But mostly your immature cells are the ones that are going to have that deep, deep blue cytoplasm. And, and this these is... have more of that blue-gray cytoplasm. Uh -huh. Yeah. But they're not as mature as I would like that that nuclear chromatin to be to be called like a... Okay. Monocyte. This one's getting there. This one you could almost, and I wouldn't really blame you for calling it an atypical monocyte, I would call that a pro-monocyte. <laughs> okay. And how do you tell, though, that this is, uh, I mean, I can look at that and I say, I think that may be a blast, but as opposed to like the downy cell earlier, the reactive thing, is this what you mean by being a bully? It's not at all yielding to the red cells. It's just perfectly yeah, it's, round and pushing them out of the way. Exactly. Okay. It's pushing them out of the way. That can be sort of a soft sign. Now, okay. I, I have seen blasts that have not quite been bullies like they're like okay. nicer blasts to the red cells um, but it's sort of one of those soft signs you can sort of help yourself and again clinical information is going mm -hmm. to be key because if you have a kid that has all the mono symptoms you know, infectious mononucleosis you're going to be a little less scared than oh I have this 80 year old who's coming in with you know leukocytosis anemia and thrombocytopenia that to me is and what else helps you here? Is it something about the chromatin, the shape of the nucleus, the size, uh, to, or just the fact that it's a white cell that doesn't look like any of the normal ones? Well, I, mean, I know that's really of, simple and basic, but I just wonder, like, what what things that help all of you? the above. So okay. this cell here, because uh -huh. and this cell here, I mean, that's a really like oddly shaped nucleolus. Yeah. Um, and nucleoli are seen in cells that are either immature mm -hmm. or cells that are activated. So remember those. Reactive oh, lymphocytes yeah. can have that. So for white cells in the blood, you shouldn't normally see nucleoli. You, in... you can in really reactive lymphocytes. Oh, okay. But, that's... Um, but it's something that you're like paying attention for. Okay. Oh, there's a nucleolus here. Maybe I should look at it a little bit harder. That's good to know. Because then... in other tissues, sometimes nucleoli are like normal, right? We see outside of the blood. Do you see how this is a little bit more violet and this is a little bit more purple? I know that's dumb sounding. Mm, maybe. I... 
that's how I started to look at the chromatin patterns and how okay. I recognize more open is I felt like that looked like a slightly different shade of purple than this. Okay. And even this compared to this. The, so, I can see that there are color differences. Yeah. So as I said, I think this one is the most mature out of okay. all of them. Um, this one, you know, is still immature, but is more mature than this. And that's partly because of this, you know, cytoplasm. And it's slightly because this chromatin pattern to me looks different. Now, so it's got like pale areas in here. Is that? It's just more open. open. And we call that vesicular. It's just a oh, little okay. bit Yeah, there's, open. there's spaces that are kind of pale, sure. Yeah. Um, now, I will tell you that when my mentor started telling me that the cells had different chromatin patterns, I thought she was crazy. Crazy. Well, that's why I'm asking you because I think it's easy for all of us as pathologists. We get used to looking and recognizing once you see something enough, you're like, that's just what it is. But it's always hard, I think, to explain, and I have to think through a lot how to explain what I'm actually looking at when very junior trainees sit with me and they're like, how, how do you know it's a melanocyte or a whatever? And I have to think through what are the exact features that my mind's picking up on? And it's sometimes hard to verbalize, I think. It, it, I will tell you, it took me years for it to actually like hit and, like, I don't know, like, there was one day that there was sort of, a, like, a light switch moment. But, honestly, she would sit at me with the scope and be like, is this a reactive lymphocyte or a monocyte? And I... Oh, really, that's priceless. I mean, I think I that mean, experience of again and again back and forth is when you finally pick up the nuance. So, if you're watching this, dear, dear viewer, um, and you're like, those all look the same, don't feel bad. Because I'm in the same boat as you. I just need to sit with Dr. Ramos a lot more clearly. Um, well, and... To be fair, they are all similar. I probably would count them all in the same category. Oh, okay. Because, um, again, promonocytes are blast equivalents. So, you, so is seeing any of these in the blood is a problem, right? Pretty much, okay. yeah. Because even if this is an atypical monocyte and, and not a promonocyte anymore, it's still atypical. Uh-huh. Um, and it shouldn't be there, And it right? shouldn't be there. Okay. 